Hey guys, so today I'm going to be doing my skincare routine. I get a lot of questions on how I keep my skin so clear and, you know, healthy looking. So I decided I'm going to do my skincare routine. I haven't done an updated one of these in a while and I'm using completely different stuff. So I wanted to tell you guys what I've been using. So for face wash and, you know, removing my makeup and things like that, um, I use this face wash. It's a daily detoxifying scrub. And I use this to exfoliate too. I don't use a separate exfoliator. I pretty much just use this and I use it every day. It's from Aveeno. You can get this at the drugstore. I think that they're pretty affordable. I think the Aveeno products are maybe around $10 usually. This is supposed to make your skin look fresher and smooth it out and um, gets rid of you know the dead skin cells and your makeup and everything like that and I really like this it doesn't make my skin feel tight or like dried out afterward so I really really like this and I also use this product from Aveeno usually I use this before I wash my face um, or even after whatever you prefer to do but um, these are the Aveeno ultra calming makeup removing wipes and it has like chamomile in it so it's I think that's good to use like before bedtime because it's really just relaxing and soothing and just makes your skin feel really fresh and clean and I just love these like if you're too lazy to wash your makeup off before you go to bed at least use a makeup wipe because that will seriously make a world of a difference but obviously it's best to use you know a cleanser and a makeup remover wipe and these you don't have to you know rinse anything off afterwards so once you use this you're good to go you don't have to rinse it off also this is supposed to um, decrease any kind of redness and irritation and I think that's why it's the ultra calming one so I really like this one I think that these are really great drugstore products if you're looking for something that's gonna make your skin clean and fresh and not over drying because I personally, I should have said this in the beginning of the video, but personally I have um, combination skin and um, I usually just only get oily like you know on my t-zone and the rest is kind of drier and especially in the cooler months like the fall and winter my skin gets a little bit more dry so I don't like products that are like super dry and it's gonna just like you know because I don't have completely oily skin so keep in mind that I have combination skin. To remove my makeup, like my eye makeup and if I don't want to use the cleansing wipes, I mean, they get rid of the makeup pretty good, but sometimes you just need that extra, like, especially if you have um, a ton of makeup on. So what I use for that, I have my coconut oil, and if you guys watch my videos, uh, like my hair care video, you guys know that I'm obsessed with this. And you can use it for so many things. I've said that over and over again, but you can use this to remove your eye makeup. And also, I swear to God, I feel like it makes my eyelashes grow. Like, I feel like my eyelashes, well, I'm wearing fake ones right now, so don't don't pay attention to that but I feel like my eyelashes have like grown you can also like put this on your brows like if you over pluck your brows um, I've heard that this can help with that so I love this stuff and it doesn't sting your eyes and you know you just rub it between your fingers to make it you know like a liquid and you just you know put it over your eye makeup and your mascara if you really really want to get like deep cleansing of them so love 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 that or breakouts and I don't know if a lot of you guys do this too but um, I think my one of my boyfriend's friends actually told me about this and I tried it and it really works so when I have a pimple coming and I notice that I have like a pimple you know like the underground kind that are just like waiting to like erupt on your face um, that's the kind of pimples I always usually get the ones that are like a bump under the skin and I found that applying um, hydrocortisone cream, once you see the pimple, you apply this and I swear like shrinks it and makes it like not ever come to the surface. You know what I mean? So this is what I use. This is just the Target brand. And most of the time people use hydrocortisone cream for like anti-itch um, to get rid of like maybe if you have like a rash on your skin or something like that. But since it is like anti-inflammatory to get rid of any inflammation and redness, um, you can use this and it I seriously it works wonders on pimples. If you have tons you know of acne on your face then obviously you probably don't want to use this but if you have like a pimple that's coming in, that really can just shrink it and reduce it and you can pretend like it never happened. So next is I'm going to talk about uh, these my moisturizers that I use. There's two that I use. <clears throat> This one is from Michael Todd. It is pricey, but I swear to God it's worth it. It is the New You, 
anti-aging facelift. Obviously, I'm only 22. I don't really need a facelift. I don't think. But, you know, it's all about the prevention. You want to keep your skin tight and young looking. So, this is supposed to lift firm and tighten. And it is also supposed to be, you know, anti-acne. And... I didn't even know about this until like I actually read the packaging, um, but it has like snail juice in it. Yeah, snail juice, okay? I don't know who was just like, hey Mr. Snail, can I borrow some of your juice and put it on my face and make it look so soft? But it seriously works. I don't know where they come up with this stuff, but you put it on your face and I swear to God, I feel like my skin has literally got a facelift. Like it's so sucked in and tight and I usually apply this um at night like before I go to bed like after I you know wash my face all that I apply this and I like I prefer to have it on at night because I feel like it's just like soaking into my skin and making me look like a new woman when I wake up but I love that stuff you can apply it day and night so I usually apply um this in the morning and then whenever I'm going to go apply my makeup I apply another moisturizer and the moisturizer that I use <clears throat> On the daily for that is this one from the body shop it's the vitamin E moisture cream and I just love this stuff it is just so super moisturizing and it doesn't make your skin feel greasy or anything like that so I absolutely love this stuff. I also use this Michael Todd Rubius or Robius tea gel eye treatment I love this stuff I it I feel like it gets rid of my under eye bags it helps with like you know, the darkness under there can get rid of any, like, fine lines and stuff, so I love this. Just, like, a gel, so it comes out, and it's, like, clear, if you can see. And, you know, you just rub it under your eye, and it, it feels, like, really soothing and cooling, and I just really, really like this stuff. So, it gets rid of the puffiness, the dark circles, it can help improve that. And just, like, restore that area so it's not, like, saggy and stuff. So, love that. And then the last Michael Todd product that I really, really am obsessed with is this face mask. This is the Charcoal Detoxifying Facial Mask. And this mask is awesome. I'll show you what it looks like. You just pump it out and you use enough to just cover your whole face. And it comes out and it looks like that. You know, just like a gray, like charcoal looking thing. So, it's not like a typical mask that is going to get super hard and like a clay mask you know it, it's not like that at all you just put it all over your face just like a thin layer you don't want to like cake it on or anything and it I feel like it moisturizes and acts as like um, a mask at the same time like it draws out like everything from your pores like excess oil anything that's in your pores that can be clogging it and it doesn't dry it out because I've tried a lot of um, face masks and I feel like they really, you know, get rid of the gunk in my face, but they dry it out. And you don't want to get rid of the oil so much that your skin is just, like, so thirsty. So this draws out everything without making you feel like your skin is dull and lifeless. So I love, love, love this stuff. Um, it has um, hyaluronic acid and vitamin C. So it's supposed to be a kind of like a moisturizing detoxifying mask at the same time. I don't know, it's hard to explain, but it's amazing. Um, I love these Michael Todd products. I, a lot of people have been raving about them recently. They are pricey, but I swear to God that they're worth it. And I feel like, you know, like face treatment stuff, like, like your moisturizer or like a mask or things like that, I feel like it's good to splurge on things like that because, you know, it's your face. Like, you're not going to get a new face. you got to be good to your skin, you know? So I think skincare is something that people should be more willing to splurge on. I don't know. It's just my personal opinion. But um, that's what I pretty much use on a daily basis. I mean, I don't use everything all at the same time. But those are my skincare products that are my go-to. We'll put a link below for where you can get a discount on the Michael Todd products. Um, it's like 20% off, so that's pretty good. So if you're thinking of getting Michael Todd stuff, definitely check out the website. See what they have. Um, use the coupon code if you're going to order. But yes, so thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you have any other further questions about skincare um, that I might have overlooked. But again, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys in my next video. <laughs> Doing my skincare routine and watch me pick my nose. Just kidding, it was an itch, I swear. Hey, that, oh my god, it's so hot. It's so hot in here.
Oh, you burn this one though. Oh, boy, help me. Let's get back to this new beauty. But it, it seriously feels like once you apply this, the charcoal defy 